Hey guys, welcome back once again. In today's session, we're going to discuss about the chapter number three of statistics that is mean, median, mode, and frequency. So here I'll be showing you the commonly asked question in the MSAT math and these are not limited to whatever we are discussing today. I have named the topic here, but they might ask you question in varieties of ways. I have just included three to four sample questions from the past sample papers which is how it appeared in the MSAT exams. I have already created a videos on the previous topics. If you'd like to watch, follow the link given in the description box below and also subscribe to my channel so that whenever I upload a new videos, you will be notified. So now let's start with the question number one here. It says, if the mean of the set of numbers below is 126, what is value of A? A is unknown to it. So what is the mean? which is also called arithmetic mean or average. So we can write it as average or arithmetic mean is equals to sum of numbers, sum of all the values generally we say divided by total numbers. How many are there in total? So add them all divided by total that is equivalence to 126. That's what the question says. So let me rewrite it as 126 equals to add them 50 plus 100 plus A plus 210 plus 50 plus 75 plus 155 plus 200 plus 115 plus 180. This all divided by how many are there counted? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are total 10 numbers are there. So in this, only A is unknown. So you can put it as it is in the calculator or you can simplify it. That's 126 equals to when you add only these numbers like 50 plus 100 plus 210, it gives us 1135 plus A divided by 10. You can just cross multiply it or you can put it in the calculator as calculator is allowed i can type it as it is or you can simplify it so you can say type it the given equation with that's 126 equal to what it is 135 plus x so while putting in the calculator we put it as x no a no b like the so divided by 10 after you done with that Mine is a simulator. It's giving me the answer at, uh, directly. But on the physical calculators, you should press after typing that expression or equation, you should press shift, calc and equal. After pressing that three steps, what answer you get that will be the choice. I'm getting it as X equals to 125. So it's basically A is equals to 125. That is option B. So this is how the questions can be asked on finding the missing terms in a given set of numbers. Question number two says, two brothers and four sisters in a family study in a high school. The average score of two brothers at the end of the term was 89 and the average score of their four sisters was 92. What was the average score of all the six brothers and sisters? Again, this question is about the uh, finding the average of together. So as we already know the condition, so average is equals to sum of numbers divided by total. So we can find out what a question asking us, what is the average score of all six? So I don't know what is the sum of scores of the uh, individual brothers, but I can find out what is the sum of their score together because they have given us two brothers has an average score of 89 at the end of the term. So I can say sum of score of two brothers I'm writing in this shot is equals to average score multiplied by two. Why? Because that average formula can be modified. Okay, so average is equals to number of sum of numbers divided by total from this. I can say sum of numbers can be written as average times total. That's what I'm doing. I'm talking about the sum of the scores of two brothers. That's we are saying. So here I'm taking their average score multiplied by two because there are two uh, uh, people. 
So it's going to be 89 times 2. So that is the sum of the scores of the two brothers. That's what we're going to get 89 times 2. It's going to be 178. Similarly, sum of four sisters score. What it is? I'm just writing in a short. Sum of four sisters score becomes their average score multiplied by 4. What is the average score of the four sisters? 92. So 92 times 4. What are you going to get? 92 times 4. That gives us 368. 368. Now what is their combined average score? Now their together average score is this. So our combined average score, I can say here it as sum of scores of two brothers plus sum of scores of four sisters divided by how many people are there in now in total? Two brothers and four sisters, total six. So I can just put them here, put their value. Sum of scores of two brothers, what it is? 178 plus four sisters, sum score is going to be 368 divided by six. Just put it in the calculator. What are you going to get? This like uh, 178 plus 368 divided by 6. You'll be getting a score here it as 91. So the average score for their combined, it's going to be 91. We go with option B. Question number 3 is on. The table shows the result of a poll which asked drivers how many accidents they had over a previous 5 years. What is the median number of accident per year? Representing the information in terms of this kind of table, it's called representing the information in terms of frequency table. What does the frequency say? Frequency says that repeating values. And see here, number of accident zero has been done by 17 drivers. So frequency of zero accident is 17. Likewise, number of accident one done by 13 drivers. So frequency of the drivers who did one accident is 13. So that is how the frequency shows the same number of, I mean, like, you know, how many people have done the same number of accidents. So while finding the median, by the definition, median is the middle number or a middle value. So when it number has given in terms of discrete, we just arrange them in an order from the small to big and we find the middle number. And in case if there are even number of terms, Average of the two middle number itself is the median. So here, how do we do in terms of frequency table? While finding the median, follow this. So add their frequency. Add the frequency. It says we have counted till here 17 people who did zero accident till here. So like, you know, till here we say 17 people who did zero accident till here. We have counted 17 plus 13. That is 30 people including who has done zero and one accident. So he, till here it is going to be 51. And then till here we counted 55, 57, 59 and plus one. So there is 60. There are uh, like, you know, 60 drivers data has represented. Now while finding the frequency, I mean the median, I first add the frequencies and I get it as frequency value here. It is sum of frequency, by the way. Sum of frequency is 60. So while finding the median from the frequency table or this kind of table, follow this. First, add the frequency number and whatever the value you get, divide it by 2. Always, what I'm trying to say, divide it by 2. So 60 divided by 2, it's going to be 30. So it means there are like even number of uh, datas are there. And whenever there is even number of datas, to find their median, we have to take the average of two middle number. So what I'm trying to say, 30, if you make them to arrange, like, you know, the people based on the number of accidents they've done. First, 17 people has done zero accidents. Then next, 13 people has done one accident. The Up till 30, what the person who belongs on the 30th position is has done one accident. And the next, the person who is on 31st position, it's from 31 to 51, the person has done like, you know, two accidents. So median will be the person, the average of the person who is on the 30th position. 
and the person who is on the 31st position. So what is the average accident of the 30th position person? One. What is the average accident of the 31st position person? Two. Up till from 31 up to 51, you will be writing that two as a the number of accidents done by the uh, like, you know, uh, drivers. So we are asked to find the median. So because 30th and 31st is the middle number in this case, I'm not writing the all. So median will be average of these two. So one plus two divided by two, that is 1.5. So median number of accidents, what has been done here is going to be 1.5. So if they ask you about like a mode number of accident, look at to the frequency value, which is appearing the most, which is 24. And they might also ask you average while finding the average of frequency data, multiply the values with the frequency and then divide by how many of them are. So as they are asked only about the median, so I go with option C as the right answer here. This is the last question here and it is very simple. They are asking us find the mean of this all the numbers. So mean is basically an average. So average is equals to sum of numbers divided by how many? Let's add them what it is going to be 6 plus 7 plus 10 plus 12 plus 13 plus 4 plus 8 plus 12 divided by how many are count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so divided by 8 put it in the calculator as it is you get the answer what is gonna be 6 plus 7 plus 10 plus 12 plus 13 plus 4 plus 8 plus 12 this all divided by 8 that gives the answer here it has 9 so average or the mean value of this given data is 9 you go with option a so these are the possible type of questions as i already said these are not limited to this many only you might ask the question on finding the mode finding the range finding the average from the frequency table there are variety of possibilities whatever the name of the topics i have included make sure that you learn each and every concepts all right that's it for today's session thank you so much i'll be seeing you guys soon in the next class thank you so much